my uh, fields of study are leadership, management, organizational psychology, uh, and uh, motivation. So what we came up with is a uh, applied behavioral science called meta mind management. Now, I'm not sure right now whether to keep this talk technical or whether to move it completely non-technical. So I'll stay somewhere in between the meridian. Huh? Uh, meta mind management is a uh, science where we study excellence and we study how happiness can be achieved through excellence. It's an interesting concept. There's a lot of research done and we're working with several companies. There are over uh, 100 uh, companies that we work with in 12 different industries uh, where we apply these concepts and we found phenomenal results. Now to simplify it, could you put your hands together please? Uh, I've just told you one rule, huh? the rule is no rules. I'll tell you some other rules in a little while. Uh, thank you. This is Namaste. Huh? In India, it's a sign of uh, uh, welcome, it's a sign of, uh, of coming together uh, so it's, and it's a greeting. So I say to you, Namaste, from our country. Uh, but now, I'll explain to you what we're talking about. Could you repeat after me, please? Uh, it's a little unconventional. It's not just a straight lecture. I could keep it that way if you want, but I'm trying this with you. Uh, I feel what I feel. Please say it. I feel what I feel. I think what I think. Thank you for your high level of uh, interaction. Huh? Uh, I say what I say. I do what I do, and all this is connected to what I want. Now, 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 here's what I'm saying. I'm saying wanting, everybody wants something. Feeling, everybody feels something. Those people say, I don't feel anything, it's not true. As long as we're human, we will feel. Thinking, uh, not everybody thinks, but everybody has the capacity to think. Huh? Uh, saying and doing. Now. We don't have one more finger, so we did not know where to put it, so we put it here. It's knowing, knowledge, knowing. Huh? So knowing, wanting, feeling, thinking, saying, doing. Now if you look at this, there's two things from this. One is that for most people, these are not aligned. We want something else, feel something else, think something else, say something else, do something else. So the energy is dissipated. Uh, the second thing I want to share is that wanting, feeling, and thinking is inside. So that is mindset. Saying and doing is outside. So that is skill set. Most people judge other people based on what they say and they do. Saying and doing is also called behavior. So we say, oh, this person is like that. Why is he like that? Because he's saying something, he's doing something. But we don't know what he is thinking or what he's feeling. So very often, let's say when we teach a subject, behavioral subject like public speaking, standing in front of people and talking. Or teaching, I work with, I'm very fortunate to work with faculty of uh, uh, several prestigious uh, universities the world over and we uh, help them and give them some latest tips and tools because a lot of research is done by us on more effective ways of teaching and getting better results out of students even when there is diversity in the audience because very often it's not the subject, it's about how you connect with them. The uh, people from different parts of the world, people with different attitudes. How do you connect with them and make them listen to the subject? Very often there's so much going on in their heads that subject really doesn't matter. So, public speaking for example, if the hand is shaking, for example, we all know, knowledge is there, that the hand should not shake. But what do you do with that knowledge? The point is there's something happening inside which is what is affecting the outside. So the mindset is the cause the skill set is the effect. So we work on this to change this. Now, what do I mean by lack of alignment? Let me illustrate. Uh, feeling, thinking, saying, doing, not aligned. For example, how many individuals, how many of your students, for example, want to be very, very successful in life? Whatever their idea of success. Many of them want to be very successful. But how many of them then also tend to procrastinate? How many of them tend to postpone things? Uh, that they know they're supposed to study, they don't do it now, they do it later. Most of them. So when, if they want success, uh, but they do the wrong things, they will not achieve it. 
So there needs to be alignment. Let me give you an example uh, with you here, with your permission. How many of you believe in monogamy, please? How many of you believe in monogamy? Can I see a show of hands, please? Huh? Mono okay. How many of you do not know what is monogamy or the word monogamy? Okay. How many of you do not know what is monogamy? Okay, fine. Uh, those of you who don't know what is monogamy, are you married? Huh? Okay, what is monogamy? Please, could you, could you tell them? Well, uh, the belief that uh, one person is married for another and that they should match for life. Huh? You get it? Thank you very much. Huh? Uh, <laughs> you want to say something, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I figured I saw the time is getting over, so I might as well move it to monogamy or some other topic which will keep you here for a while longer. Huh? I know, I'm coming to that. I start with one and then I move on to more. You know? So, so uh, <laughs> one, one person. <laughs> one, huh? Fair enough. To each his own, each individual is different. For some people, it's, it's okay, I respect that. Huh? Uh, one person, it's a concept, it's a belief as you said. One person of the opposite sex, or same sex if you're like that. No? Uh, for a long period of time, lifelong it used to be, but at least for a long period of time, the concept of monogamy. How many of you, believe, somebody made the concept, right? How many of you believe in that concept? Can I see a show of hands please? You believe that it's good. One person, loyalty, all life. Uh, how many of you, even if you raise your hand and put it down fast, it's okay because I have this photographic memory, you know? Okay? Uh, there are some other people who are interested in looking around. You know? <laughs> okay? So, uh, uh, how many of you, now this is another question, how many of you tend to get attracted? Now if it happens, it's okay, you know? You tend to get attracted to more than one person of the opposite sex. How many of you? <laughs> now, my point is just this, that if you raise your hand for both questions, hmm, the answer, then there might be a problem, is all I'm saying. Really? Huh? I believe in monogamy, but I get attracted. Then there's a problem. Of, are you with me? That's what I'm talking about. Now, I did one senior management program for CEOs, and uh, 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 one of the CEOs said, I raised my hand for both the answers, but there is no problem. Huh? I raised my hand for, you please tell me if I'm going too fast or too slow, anything I can, I'm very adjustable. Huh? You want different subject, it's no problem. Huh? Uh, <laughs> the, so he said that uh, I raised my hand for both, but there is no problem. Huh? So his friend said, uh, how come no problem? They started talking amongst themselves and I'm okay with that. Huh? So he said, listen, I feel attracted to that beautiful actress, huh? for example, film star, but I don't do anything about it. Huh? So it's no problem. Huh? His friend said, you cannot do anything about it. <laughs> so sometimes when you cannot do, you automatically get aligned. And that's what happens when there are rules. No? We say, no, you have to do this. Now, all I'm talking about is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, about alignment, because if we are able to get aligned, that focuses our energy. So could you put your hands together again, please? Uh, and repeat after me. I feel what I feel. I feel what I think. I think what I say. I say what I do. I do what I feel. And all this is connected to what I want. Are you with me now? So I feel what I say. I say what I think. I think what I do. I do what I say. I say what I feel. I feel what I do. Now, I know you cannot do what I do, but you feel what I feel. <laughs> you, you get what I say? What I'm, all I'm saying is align. Inside, outside, the same person. Then whether there's a video camera, or we're in a party, or we're at home, or wherever, of course, some of the ways we behave will be different. But uh, the point is that we are the same. And this gives tremendous power. If you look at it from a professional standpoint, this is also integrity. Because we always do what we say. We always think before we say, ideally. And whenever feeling and thinking clashes, which they often do. I feel like doing something, but I think that's better to do. Then it's best to let one of them win, which means let the feeling win or let the thinking win. Shut the other one, depending on what you want. So clarity of what you want is very, very important. So some of these concepts we have is alignment is a very important part of, uh, of meta mind management. Alignment.